Hey guys, I am here with another book, and this one is called Just In Case You Ever Wonder, and it's by a man named Max Licato, who we actually, the adults, do a lot of Bible studies with. So, but did you know that he writes books for you guys too? He does. So we're going to read one of his, okay? Long, long ago, God made a decision, a very important decision. One that I'm really glad he made. He made the decision to make you. The same hands that made the stars made you. The same hands that made the canyon made you. The same hands that made the trees and the moon and the sun made you. That's why you are so special. Because God made you. He made you in a very special way. He made your eyes so they would twinkle. He made your mouth so you could smile. Let me see those smiles. <laughs> he made you laugh so you could giggle. God made you like no one else. Look at all the different bears. None of them look the same. If you looked all over the world, in every city, in every house, there would be no one else like you. No one with your eyes, no one with your mouth, no one with your laugh, because you are very, very special. And since you are so special, God wanted me wanted to put you in just the right home. Are you in the right home? I think so. When you'd be warm when it's cold, when you'd be safe when you're afraid, and where you'd have fun and learn all about heaven. So after lots of looking for just the right family, God sent you to me, and I'm so glad he did. He sent them to your mama or your daddy. I'll never forget the first time I saw you. Your eyes were closed, your fingers were curled into little fists, and your cheeks were puffy and round. I knew in my heart God had sent someone very wonderful for me to take care of. Is that how your mom and dad felt about you? I bet they did. Your first night with me, I heard every sound you made. I heard you gurgle. I heard you sniff. I heard your lips smack. I heard your cry when you wanted to eat, and I fed you. I bet you your mommy felt like that about you. Yeah. You're bigger now and you do more things. You can walk and run. You can play and talk. You can eat and sing and look at books, right? You're not a little baby anymore. No, you're not. But as you grow and change, some things will stay the same. I'll always love you. I'll always hug you and I'll always be on your side. I bet that's what your mom and dad feel like. I know that's I feel like that. I'll always love you, I'll always hug you, and I'll always be by your side. And I want you to know that just in case you ever wonder, remember, I'm here for you. On dark nights when you hear noises in your closet, call me. When you see monsters in the shadows, call me.
on hard days when kids are mean and don't treat you like they should, come to me. If your grades are bad and your teacher is mad, come to me, because I love you. And I always will, just in case you ever wonder. Most of all, I'll be here to teach you about God. He loves you, he protects you, and he and his angels are always watching over you. And God wants me to make sure you know about heaven. It's a wonderful place. There are no tears there. There are no monsters. There are no mean people. Look at how nice that looks. You never have to say goodbye or goodnight or I'm hungry. You never get cold or sick or afraid. In heaven, you are so close to God that he will hug you just like I hug you. It's going to be wonderful. I will be there too, I promise. We will be there together forever. Remember that just in case you ever wonder. The end. I'll see you guys next week.